What up, man? Hey, on the last video, a lot of guys were saying, um, a lot of you guys were saying in the comments that I ought to ditch the K20 and do a K24. I just want to put it out there. I was going to save this for maybe a future surprise, but I may as well just go ahead and let you guys know. I do have a K24 block. Now, this is just a bare block. It does have the crank and everything. So, um, I was thinking about doing piston and rod with the K24 block, but I did pick up the K20 because I'd be using a K20 head. So that is part of the plan, bro. But at the same time, throw it in the comments down below because I would love to hear some feedback on this. I, I know it's gonna be mixed feedback like crazy, but I don't know if I wanna do this an all motor slash nitrous car or if I wanna just turbo it. And talking to a few people that I know that are really knowledgeable on the whole K-Series thing, K-Series turbo in specific, um, K24s, you kind of fight traction whenever you're turboed you know what i'm saying so um when i got this long block the whole idea was to do the k20 in the car while i'm building the k24 and the turbo it and everything um but now i just i i don't know because i i'm thinking i want to turbo this car like i i want to make this like the quickest car that i've ever owned you know what i'm saying so and i know i can achieve that doing a, a high compression turbo build or a high compression nitrous build but at the same time i've never built the turbo car so i was kind of thinking about turboing this also but i don't know put it in the comments down below what you guys think whether turbo nitrous k20 bottom in or k24 bottom in i don't know it, it seems to me if i was going to do all motor nitrous I should do the K24 bottom end with the 20 head. Um, but if I'm going to turbo it, I ought to just leave it all K20. So that that's kind of where I'm at. I don't know. Throw it in the comments what you guys think. Moving on, we picked up some parts last night for uh, Venom. Bro, look at this thing sitting out here. It looks freaking sick, bro. I swear. Oh, shoot. So picked up an uncut rear bumper and a front bumper, but an actual coupe bumper. Because you guys are right, man. Once we got the headlights and stuff on and we're trying to fit that sedan bumper on the front of Venom, like that was a no-go. There was some there was some straight gappage going on. <laughs> but yeah, also got a set of amber corner lights. So yeah, need to clean them up a little bit. But you guys already know the amber corner lights gonna look a lot better on Venom. All right, so Braven is saying that he wants to cut this thing like down on this body line right here. In which I personally don't think that that is up high enough. But he wants to cut it right here and then just kind of taper down on the edges. Uh, that's the reason why we're not using that, that bumper that we already got, that cut one. Because it was cut like way up here. Like it was really short, but it goes all the way around. I don't know. I don't I don't like looking at the side profile of the car and there just being nothing here. So we're gonna kind of probably cut it to where it gradually comes up to the height in the back. Let's go ahead and mock it up there really quick. Shoot, you should leave the bumpers white, bro. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I really like white coupes, though. My cousin Colin had a white coupe. Actually, I had a white coupe. What am I thinking? But I don't know. My cousin Colin stands out so much because he had that thing for many years. And uh, it went through a lot of different swaps. Well, a couple GSR swaps. And then I think that's, yeah, that's the one he ended up doing his first K-swap on. It looks like a freaking car right now, bro. What's up? <laughs> that's crazy. Look at this man. Yo, I got to get a picture for the Instagrams, bro. What? All right, so this is what we're going to start off with doing. Uh, we're going to completely eliminate this bottom little piece right here. And we're going to start from this point. So right above that. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, Braven doesn't want to go higher than this like body line. So for the most part, we're going to go just a straight line from here up until the height of that body line. So then we still have this side section. We're going to make that cut and see how we like it if that's not aggressive enough for what Braven is looking for, then we will continue to alter it. <laughs> Braven, for some reason, had the tape measure in the bathroom. Come on, give it to me. It was <laughs> stuck at two inches. So I'm gonna measure from this point up to here. 
so we can mark it on the other side try to get this tape line as close as possible about 21 and a quarter measure once cut twice Right there. Did I catch it? I think I got it. Oh my God, Becky. Would you look at her butt? Hey. Alrighty, here we go. You think you can put your phone down long enough to record me doing this? I'm on my phone. Come on, just take the camera. Take the camera, stop being a smart ass. I'm try really hard not to mess this up. Yeah, you do that. Damn it. It's the wrong side. Just kidding. Oh. Oh. Dude, there's 10 flies on me at one time, bro. I know, they're bothering me too. Watch this transfer. Watch it. Watch it. Watch this transfer. Oh, bro. That was clean, bro. Are you full sending it? I feel like I should put a tape line, huh? Should I put it's going to follow on this. Literally, there's a freaking indent. Oh, yeah, but. All right, send it. If it's crooked, we'll straighten it out with the sander. Put a tape line, bro. <laughs> I don't trust you. We're getting ready to lose structural integrity here in a moment. Bro. What? It wasn't recording. It's just in your face, though. <laughs> You're going, I was just kidding. No, I wasn't surprised at all. It sounds like something you'd do. You're the one More that started the clip. Your phone than whether the you're the one that started the clip and said, are you, are you able to set your phone down are for a second? Are you coming at me sideways or not? No, you're the one coming I'll at me sideways. I'll flip you upside down, flip right. you upside down right now. All right, Braven, you can be right side up now. Here. Is there a speed on the... Oh, there is. Oh, now we're in business. Holy oh, shit! Too fast, Slow that bro. down. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go back to where we have it. Jesus. Right, two. Okay. Start back from the bottom. We started from the bottom, now we're here. Oh, structural integrity is gone. Yeah, I'll pick that up later. <laughs> Dang, son. Dang, son. All right, we'll bust the sander out and clean up the cut here in a moment. But let's try it first. Let's try it on. Try that side, Brandon. Put your damn phone down, come on. Dude, I left my phone open, so I left it on red. D -d -d damn, Jada. That's not bad, bro. All right, dig it. Gotta cool up. I'm kind of digging it, bro. I think it looks pretty sick. It's like, it, it, yeah, dude. Look at that point right there. Bow, then it shoots up. Yeah, it's aggro. Dude, that's pretty sick, man. And it's gonna look dope from the back too. We'd have to get it out in the street to really get like a, like a further, like a look at it from further away, but. Bro, that looks freaking dope, man. I honestly think it's perfect. Dude, that is sick. Hell yeah. Hell freaking yes. I love it. I think that's good, man. We're gonna send it with that. But we're gonna just gonna we're gonna use the DA sander and sand the uh, the cut and get it all nice and straight and perfection, my friend. <laughs> Ever told you guys that that compressor is like really freaking loud <laughs> but you know i came out here to grab um see there's that bumper that we picked up that we were going to use on braven's car but you see how short it is all the way around anyhow i need to grab my rear bumper now because i want to actually mock it up and get it cut right now as well while we're at it
bumper all lined out. Uh, basically, I'm doing the exact same thing. Only thing that I'm doing different is we cut his right on his body line. And I'm cutting mine right above this tape. So that's the reason why I ran this tape across the body line. So I have a straight line, something to reference. So I just want mine to be a little bit higher. Um, basically, it's going to put it level with this. So that's what I'm looking for. Pick it up later. Alrighty then, there's mine. Get over here so you guys can see it better. Yeah, so basically the same exact thing, just mine is cut up just slightly higher in the back because I I really want it to sit level with that cut area. I could actually probably go up another freaking inch, bro. I don't know, I think I might. And you gotta remember, the higher that I go up in the back, like the more aggressive this little point ends up being. <laughs> So, I don't know, yours looks really nice too. So, I, I like the look of it either way. Ah, you son of a sack of a dog piece. Have you guys noticed that I've cut out the cussing? I mean, I, well, especially the F word. I, I'm trying, I'm trying to be a little bit more of a family safe channel. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's, I feel like it's always been a family safe channel. I just, you know, I, I cuss a little bit. <laughs> As for the front bumper on Braven's car, we're actually just going to cut this section off. We're going to cut this straight. And then, uh, we need to take these little pieces off. They, whoever had this before had like some fog lights right there or something. But, and then we're going to go ahead and cut the entire grill out. And then for the most part, that's pretty much it. Um, what we're going to end up doing is once we get the car running, or maybe before, if I end up finding a trailer, um, we're going to trailer his car back over to Cody and actually have him change the piping a little bit to where it actually comes in a little tighter and it's not and it's not hitting the bumper. So Yeah, but other than that, dude, this thing needs to be pressure washed, bro. Like this thing is full of wet, wet grease, man, and oil. Are you gonna yaw trick it? You're gonna yaw trick it? Boy, you better do yaw trick right. I bet. Wait, am I supposed to say yaw trick? Yeah. Okay. Yaw trick. What the? That was not a good yaw trick. I'm not gonna yell. Dude, bro. it's gotta be like out there, bro. It's yaw gotta be trick. like yaw trick. What is this little flapper here? What is this little flapper? I see, it looks better already, bro. We'll just leave it like that. Yep, perfect. That's Venom's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you know it looks like Venom missing a couple teeth. Well, moving on, I'm wanting to get all the doors and stuff uh, done for Gotham. I want to get my car caught up to where Braven's at. Try to get all the body panels and stuff finished uh, so we can get them all mounted on the car so it looks a little bit more complete. I'm about to go through all these doors. I'm trying to get rid of those dings that are right here from them drilling out the spot welds on the back. But like I said before, bro, this ain't gonna be no Cadillac paint job, dog. I'm just trying to smoothen it out. Um, just do the best I can to make it look halfway decent. So I'm gonna go through and sand all these and hopefully I got some damn primer left. I might actually put a little bit of primer on these ones. I just kind of fast forwarded through sanding all this stuff instead of recording all that you guys have seen me sand plenty of stuff right um well you've i guess you've also seen me pressure wash plenty of stuff as well yeah i want to go ahead and spray these things off once again because we have sprayed them off multiple times now but i did notice on one of the doors on the bottom like basically this area like what you see on this one. One of them was like covered in grease, in which I guess we missed whenever we pressure washed them before. I don't know, I just wanna, I just wanna pressure wash them again. They sat all back again and got dirt all embedded in all the cracks and everything, so. Well, I don't care if the paint job on this looks perfect, I don't wanna paint over dirt, so it'll literally flake off as we're screwing the doors onto the car, you know what I'm saying? I want the paint to at least stick, is basically what I mean. Did I really? I left my damn tripod all the way out in the booth.
So I ain't gonna lie, it looks like this uh, sedan was a pretty dope color before it got spray painted black. I don't know, is that a factory green color? I almost thought it looked like Midori, bro. Could you imagine that? A Midori freaking sedan? Either way, all this stuff is all sanded. Um, it's all been pressure washed and it's been hanging out here for a couple of hours now to dry. So uh, pretty much ready to start spraying it. I do want to hit some of these bare spots with some primer. The only thing I do want to do is I want to cut some little stuff off like this and then maybe go around and clean up the cuts. Whoever cut these doors, there's some jagged. I mean, they don't look horrible, but there are some jagged areas. So I just want to clean it up a little bit now before we paint it. I want to cut that one off as well because we don't need this little piece. Uh, the rear doors are just getting like basically bolted on the car. They're not going to be openable. So I went ahead and I removed the hinges. So the hinges are removed. Um, I need to con finish getting this contraption out of here. Um, I want to cut this off. I'm thinking about maybe taking the door hand i don't know probably just leave the door handles i was thinking about making like a little aluminum block off for the door handle and like riveting it on i don't know thought that might look kind of cool is it raining it's not raining the wind is just blowing a little bit sounding like rain anyhow i'm gonna go grab my cordless grinder and try to get all the cutting and cleaning up done with that so i don't have to run a cord all the way out here and then we'll move on to finally painting these things. I, can't, I, I'm, I wanna get them painted today so that hopefully I can put them on the car tomorrow. All right, so I mentioned to you guys that um, the, the rear doors, they're not gonna open at all. Um, so basically all the structure and everything in them doesn't even matter, like I'm completely cutting it out. Um, basically this is how the door was, it's like a standard cut, you know what I'm saying? You still have all of this return right here that goes from the body and covers the length to the inside of the door jam, but uh, really, I don't need any of that, bro. Like this would probably make it a little bit easier for attaching it. Like I probably could have ran some screws on the inside or something, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like I want this car to be like the lightest, the lightest sedan ever, bro. Like dead ass. I want to be able to say I have the lightest sedan more than anybody else. Like there, there's nobody that's lighter than my car. I mean, other than just completely redoing the car all out of carbon fiber. I mean, what else can you do, bro? I, so anyhow, I went ahead and I took that return off I took all that metal off, dude, because I figured, why not? I basically only want the skin on the back. I left just enough to where it still holds its shape. You know what I'm saying? Now, this thing is super freaking light. So, yeah, that's all I need, dude. Just basically the outer skin so that we can attach it to the car and it just visually... There's a door there. So yeah, I still gotta cut this whole other door. Like these things are basically ready for paint, bro. But I, this is what I wanted to do in the first place was to cut it like this. Um, and I, I don't know, I just kind of got in lazy mode because these doors are already cut and I'm just like, hell yeah, clean them up and spray them. But no, I, I wanna go ahead and cut the rest of this off the way that I originally intended on doing. And when I cut Braven's doors, I also took this like this came down and I, uh, right about here, I dipped in and I cut about another inch off going all the way around. So I think I am gonna go ahead and take that little bit of extra, extra metal off of these doors also. I'm dreading it, bro, because it's so much work, man. Like it really is like you're basically cutting the door because it might already be cut, but you're still, still gotta do a cut all the way around the whole thing and what makes it so hard is the fact that they are ready for paint right now and i'm just adding this extra work just to shed probably i don't know maybe two pounds at most across all four doors but it is what it is man every little bit adds up yeah i'm gonna knock these out get the the little bit of extra cut off and then we'll move on to paint Jeez. Finally, many hours later, bro, I got all the doors cut. This is how much metal 
I got out of all of them. I figured I'd save that to show you guys. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, here's the rear doors. And it is basically just the skin, bro. The outside skin. And I also went around and tried to knock down as much of the seam sealer around the edges as I could on all four. So, yes sir, that's the rear. And then the front doors. I went back and I trimmed this a little bit cleaner and then up around here I made it a little thinner also. I left a little bit more structure obviously on the front doors because these ones are actually going to be opening you know but like I cut up here all the way up against to where the hinge is at and um, yeah pretty much got rid of as much unnecessary metal as possible. I went over them all and sanded them once again just by hand really quick. Just for shits and giggles, I guess. I, I just don't want to have a problem with the paint not sticking, bro. Because you guys know how often I'm probably going to be pressure washing this thing. <laughs> and I don't want to have a problem with the paint coming off. But I do got my gun all loaded up. And we're pretty much ready to go. So it's the next day. Ended up getting these things all sprayed last night. I'm very proud of myself because I really wanted to get them done yesterday. Um, but unfortunately, like the same as Braven's doors, they have that really soft feel to the paint. You know what I'm saying? This stuff really takes time for the sun to kind of bake it to where it's good and dry and you're not going to put fingerprints in it. That's one downside. I know I've mentioned it before, but one downside to using this Rust-Oleum. You know what? It could be a combination of what reducer I'm actually using because I'm using a very warm reducer because of course it's hot as hell out here um, if you don't know what that means it, that means it makes the paint dry slower so that because um, if you didn't use a slow reducer with how hot it is 
um, as you're spraying it it's really difficult to keep the paint wet and you'll end up with stripes and like hazy marks and stuff in it so anyhow they did come out really nice man i am <laughs> i'm I'm still amazed at how much I cut off of these rear doors. It's gonna be a challenge to get them mounted up, but um, that's honestly kind of an exciting thing for me as well. But anyhow, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can do today. I wanna let these go ahead and hang in here all day today and just bake. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow till I go ahead and pull these down, uh, get them mounted up on the car. I can't wait to actually start seeing Gotham come together and look like a car again. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, man. Please, if you did, smash the like button. It helps tremendously. And if you didn't like it, maybe you just need to lower your standards a little bit. Peace.